Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mark Todorovic. I lecture anatomy and physiology to aspiring health professionals here in Australia. And today I'm going to go through your top five tips for studying and passing anatomy and physiology. Let's start with number five and we'll work our way to number one. Number five, what should you do or not do when preparing for anatomy and physiology? Well, this is really important. Do not simply copy down what's written in your textbook and copy down what's written in your course notes. The reason why is all you're doing is transferring information from one page to another page without it actually going into your brain first. So this takes us to number four. So number five being simply do not copy. Bring to number four, instead of just copying these things down, what you should do is you should read the book or listen to the lecture or watch the lecture, then cover it up, write down what you remember, and then check it. So this is reading, covering, checking, repeating. Reading, covering, checking, and then repeating. Now what this is testing is your recall. It's not necessarily testing your understanding, but that's okay. We're just getting some of that information into the brain first. Number five, don't copy. Number four, read it, cover it, write it, then check it. Now you're starting to get that information into your brain. Then we're bringing it to number three. So what do we do for number three? Well, with number three, what I want you to do is, this is very important, Draw. Anatomy and physiology is a very visual subject, so make sure you invest in a nice notepad because in addition to all that writing that you're going to be doing, you need to draw. Now we're starting to bring concepts together when we draw. What you should be drawing are concept maps. Now concept maps bring together information. The great thing about anatomy and physiology is while you may learn all this information in discrete units or topics, they all fit together into one working human body. So concept maps allow for you to start understanding the information you've learnt by drawing it and fitting it all together. Now it doesn't matter if you're not a very good drawer, we all know that I'm not the best drawer. So make sure you just continually draw what you're learning. Even if you read it, try and understand it visually in a drawing. Number two, number two is actually my favourite unsurprisingly, because at number two, I want you to make sure that everything you learn, you say it out loud. This deserves another color. Say it out loud. This for me is the most successful way for me to learn anatomy and physiology. Doesn't matter if I've just read some information or if I've heard somebody say it or I see them drawing something up, what I do is I walk away and I say it out loud. I say it out loud to myself, I say it out loud to my dog or to my baby daughter. It doesn't matter who you say it to. When you've learned something, grab somebody and say it out loud because what you're demonstrating to yourself and to them is what you know. It's very easy and this is what my students say. They'll sit in a lecture, a two hour lecture on anatomy and physiology and they'll leave the lecture going, yeah, I understand everything you said. But if I were then to say to them, well, repeat to me what I said in that two hours. It's not possible. You may walk away with one or two pieces of information stuck in there, but not the entire lecture. Now, in your brain, you're like, but I understood it. How come I can't repeat it? Well, the answer is saying it out loud demonstrates to you your gaps in your understanding. So anytime you learn something, say it out loud. Okay, what is my number one tip for studying and passing anatomy and physiology? Again, it's probably unsurprising, but it's practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. What this means is don't practice, practice, practice the night before the exam. Cramming will not help you. It may help a tiny little bit, but you know how much content is in anatomy and physiology. So what you need to do is you need to be able to set the time aside Write yourself a timetable and a schedule outlining the time that you have free. Now you need to dedicate specific time to studying this course. Do not study this course whenever you seem to have free time because what you're going to find is life is very busy and life will take precedence over anatomy and physiology. 
I understand. But if you set aside the time, just one hour every day, you'll be able to go back through and do step five, four, three, and two to help best prepare you for your end of semester exams, okay? So practice, 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 don't cram, get your sleep. Studies have shown that you do learn while you're sleeping. So get a really great night's sleep prior to your last final exam. And here are my top five tips for studying and passing anatomy and physiology. Thanks everyone.